test for the Kaboo Skywalker 8S standing start and here we go oh off nice pokey good start 11 miles per hour already 17 miles per hour it's great acceleration 20 miles per hour 22 23 24 are we gonna get to 25 25 brake test gonna get as fast as we can with about eight uh, to about 80 yards and then apply the brakes see how quickly we stop off we go full speeds getting there 14 15 16 70 miles per hour brake points comes to a nice controlled stop there got up to about 16 miles per hour, I think, at the point where I applied the brakes. Uh, the point at which we applied the brakes, and that is about 35 feet, I'd say. 35 foot up, yeah. Okay, so here we go. We're doing the hill test now on the uh, Kaboo Skywalker ATS. Uh, using our 10 degree hill as for our hill test as we've used on the Jewelltron Mini and the Skywalker's big brother, the Kaboom Mantis Pro. Now, one thing which is kind of, we've noticed when we've looked back at the videos is that on the video, this hill doesn't look that steep. If I was asked before we were doing these hill tests what I thought a 10 degree hill looked like, I would have never, I wouldn't have thought as, as steep as it actually is. If you're thinking about taking a scooter on a particular hill, um, we could advise that you can download an app on most smartphones have these apps where you can measure exactly what gradient the hill is and so you'll be able to know you know whether how 10 degree compares to that so here we go the Skywalker going up our hill for reference a Xiaomi 365 can't get me up this hill let's see if the Skywalker can off we go <laughs> No problem at all. Got up there, it actually started uh, gaining a bit of pace towards the top, but uh, good talk for, for a little scooter. Excellent. Hello, so today we have been road testing the Kaboo Skywalker 8S, baby brother of the Kaboo Mantis Pro, my personal uh, favourite scooter to date, so we're been looking forward to getting our hands on this bad boy. First thing to say, what a lovely looking scooter. You can see it's got these 8 inch kind of wheels, okay, which are oversized in terms of how wide they are. So a real kind of fat wheel, which makes it real kind of stand out and have a lovely look about the scooter. You see it's got a nice size deck again you know my big feet have no problem fitting on here i can put them side by side or kind of one behind the other no issue there at all the other thing i can say about the tires is that these on this model they're actually completely solid so you're not going to get any issues with punches on the downside you can feel the bumps a little more uh, to help with those bumps we got shock absorbers so we got two here on the back two on the front in other models that we got in the skywalker these shock absorbers are actually in a kind of chrome red which um, we think is uh, even nicer again when you see it on the in the red uh, handlebars a lovely feature about the handlebars you can adjust the height on them so depending on how high you want the handlebars and whatever kind of comfort that you're happy with in terms of a height which is a nice touch and then you see the handlebars themselves 
we got the light, switch the light on, same kind of light system, light up under the deck, you can't really see it, we'll show you a bit later when it gets a bit darker, so that's, it looks really cool that does in the night, same as the, the Mantis Pro, and what else you have, which we've been waiting for on these scooters, is an electric horn. Nice electric horn, been waiting for that. Single brake system, okay, so that goes all into, you've got a rear brake, which uh, it does can, can give a little bit of a slide. We did a brake test on it earlier, so you've got to kind of be careful if you go in at high speeds when you brake on it. But for an experienced rider, it, you can actually have a nice little con control slide skid on it. You see, uh, you've got your throttle here and your display, gives you all your usual information, your speed, your how many miles you've done, and your battery life. Um, in terms of the spec, now this is it says on paper that it does 25 miles in terms of range we've been testing it today we've done 10 miles max power okay i'm quite a big guy just under 15 stone now but still if we've done 10 miles and we've got just under half a battery left so i would say it's probably going to get to maybe 20 miles if we're lucky today in terms of a top speed now when this came out of the box and I jumped on it, excited to kind of ride it. I've got to say, at first I was a bit disappointed. I was uh, I was a little underwhelmed by the by the speed and the torque. Realised that the default setting was at sixty percent of the maximum output for this scooter. So when we actually put it at a hundred percent, it was actually exceeded our expectations. We got a max speed out of it of twenty five miles per hour on the speed test, which given the class it's in and its price point is very very impressive it was also excellent on the hill test so overall in terms of you know what you could, the performance of this scooter we were we were blown away really really impressed so overall we've got to say kudos gives you a thumbs up now what i will be able to show you a bit a bit later is the folding mechanism which is pretty cool in fact you can actually tuck these handlebars in which means if you need to take it around with you somewhere fit in the boot of a car it's not going to be much of a problem okay so we're going to show you how this folds away now the skywalker handlebars okay just pull those out and down they go quick release on the stem push it down then your foot comes onto this little plate here, clicks it down into place, and away you can carry it. Now it is quite heavy, but it does fold away quite nicely, so it easily fit in the boot of your car, or if you need to get into a, a tight spot, whatever that might potentially be. Okay, so then to get it back up, again, just put your foot on this little clip, up it comes, adjust your height of the stem, wherever you need it to be, and your handlebars, just click into place and you're good to go. Lovely. on now it's a bit darker you can see that the lights under the deck give this wonderful blue glow with a headlight at the front to help you see where you're going this looks like you're coming straight from an imperial star destroyer okay so our final thoughts on the kaboom skywalker is that this is a great scooter it certainly packs a punch for the money that you're paying for it and it's definitely the next level above your entry level scooter Guess the kudos seal of approval. Move along, move along. Okay, I'm off. I'm off.